Alright, y'all, back to another video. If I, sound, if I sound kind of pissed off or like I'm reading off a script this video, it's because I already tried to record this video one time, but it just didn't record. It didn't go through, so I spoke for 12 minutes for nothing. But yeah, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the title. Anti-shippers are so hypocritical. Anti-shippers just acting up, acting out. So, I have two main situations that I kind of want to speak about and cover. I may dip off or whatever. But yeah, let's get right into this video because I'm already mad and frustrated. So, this video is about anti-shippers, as you can see, and just their hypocrisy. So, let's get into it. So, I have a TikTok account. It's like my side account and it's a pro-ship account, openly pro-ship. So, I made a TikTok. Here it is. So, pretty much TikTok is like, how are you going to be an anti-shipper and enjoy South Park? So, if you don't know what South Park is, pretty much it's this show that focuses on like four boys, Cartman, Stan, Kenny, and Kyle. And pretty much this show is like very, you know, offensive. Like it's not for people who get easily offended, stuff like that. And in the show, there's a scene where Cartman, who's one of the main characters, uh, S.A.'s, one of another, another character named Butters, pretty much what he do is he sneaks in his room at night and he puts his private area in his mouth and takes a picture of it just to show like oh my god look he's gay but the other characters make fun of him because no you're gay you did that not butters right so i made it so that tiktok was pretty much saying hey how are you going to be an anti-shipper who's supposed to be fully against the section of fictional minors period but defend and like a show where shit like that happens all the time literally self Park show is a show where stuff like that happens all the time so how are you going to be an anti and supposed to be against that stuff but you're supporting it and you like a show like that right so i post that tiktok and of course i got the usual pro shippers are weird the usual oh my god you're a pro shipper because y'all want to ignore the point and just you know spew your hate which that was expected right but then there were a few comments trying to say that it was different like the first comment I got about that was pretty much saying it's different because it's comedy and it's different because it's dark humor, which it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter the intention on why that happened. Like if I fucking stab somebody, but I didn't mean to kill them. I just wanted to let them see how it felt to get stabbed. That wasn't my intention to kill them. And they ended up dying the next day. It doesn't matter what my intention is. I'm still going to jail period it doesn't matter what the intention was but i went by anti-logic and i said well by anti-logic that's still wrong because it's sexually minors and also by anti-logic it's contributing to the normalization and glorification and romanticization of sa and pedophilia when i and they tried to argue with me and i'm like bro if i were to take it and draw the picture that cartman apparently took of him with butters you know thing in his mouth then i would get hate i would get death threats people would try to dox me but literally y'all support these grown-ass people writing a joke about a 10 year old character you know assaulting another 10 year old character make it make sense it doesn't it's the hypocrisy and the mental gymnastics they tried to go through and then I had another person that pretty much proved my point and pretty much agreed with me on something that wasn't even about that video. He agreed with me that literally whatever you support in fiction doesn't necessarily reflect what you would support in real life. That's pretty much what they said. And I was like, you just, you just proved what I've been saying ever since I started this account. And this isn't even what the video is about. Literally in that video, nor was I trying to justify sexual minors, nor was I, why, was I trying to justify underage characters being drawn inappropriately. Nowhere were pro shippers mentioned. Nowhere was anti versus pro ship. All I do is point out hypocrisy and they're still coming to me trying to make it seem like that I'm the bad person. Like I just want an excuse to sexualize minors. But yeah, anyways, so the second situation I would like to dive into was like when I had first started the account there was this uh so y'all probably know the audio of Deku and Bakugo singing uh 
You know why these bitches love me? Why? Because Declan don't give a fuck. What you do? Y'all know that audio. If y'all don't know what it is, just search up uh, Cash Shit Deku and you'll find what I'm talking about. So that audio is very explicit, very sexual, very much, uh, you know, detailing how you're gonna commit all these sexual acts, right? And aunties and everybody alike ate that audio up. When I tell you that audio was so popular when it came out, it was popular when it came out. So I made a TikTok and I was like, how are you? I don't know what I said, but I pretty much said, how are you going to be an auntie but fully support the, you know, all these bitches of me audio, but then tell other people to kill themselves because they like a Nazi girl drawing a Bakugo. Like, make it make sense. This somebody was saying, somebody, the main point they were trying to argue to me was that, oh my God, you know, minors can't have sex thoughts now. So I'm a minor, so I can't sing this little song now. Sweetie, this was not about real minors. This was not about real people. This was not about you. You being a minor has nothing to do with it. Literally, all I said was, how are you going to attack people and send people death threats for sexualizing fictional minors, but in the same breath, you're going to like a video that somebody made in Deku's voice singing a song that's talking about fucking and smoking weed and all this other stuff. Make it make sense. And they're taking it as I'm saying I'm against it when I don't care. Like, literally, I do not care. All I'm doing is pointing out the hypocrisy. And then the person who made them audios, the pixel drink guy, he got canceled a couple months later because he posted, or I could not say for work. And I'm like, make it make sense. Y'all were just rocking with this dude a few months ago when he made, you know, all these bitches on me audio. It's literally the same thing, different font. And you cannot convince me it's not. So with those two examples, and I have more, but I'm not going to get into it. You can see that it's literally the same thing they only want to cancel something or they only want to say something is bad when it's convenient to them and when they dislike it i've seen an anti even ship i've seen multiple anti shippers actually even ship cl and sebastian off of black but pretty much cl is like 12 and sebastian's like i don't know like a really really old demon nigga it's it's weird i've seen a lot of stuff but they ship that which is pretty much a minor ex-adult ship, which it is, but then be an auntie. And I'm like, make it make sense. And honestly, I don't even care that they dislike this content. Literally, no uh, pro shippers care that you dislike this content. It's when you send people death threats over it and then have the nerve to be a hypocrite. It's when you tell someone to off themselves over something that you do yourself. And, you know, this isn't really, well, yeah, it is. I've been through this shit too, but like, I hate when CSA survivors, like, child sexual assault for those who don't know, like to weaponize their trauma against other CSA survivors. Like, for example, a lot of people use like pro ship content, dark fiction, like adult X minor ships to cope. I'm not gonna get into how, but you can look it up. But yeah, pretty much they use dark fiction to cope. And there's so many CSA survivors who are like, I'm a CSA survivor and you can't cope like that because, you know, it's glorifying my trauma and, you know, it's making it, it's romanticizing it. When literally we're not romanticizing your fucking trauma by shipping Bakugo and Aizawa or something. It has nothing to fucking do with you. Are you some fictional character who can blow, who can blow explosions out of his hands? No, I didn't think so. So it's not about you. And I hate to come off so harsh, but it's like, bro, it has nothing to do with you. Why are you inserting yourself into something that has nothing to do with you? I can understand why you think that, but literally, it does not normalize anything. It is not glorifying anything that happens to people in real life. It is not glorifying or normalizing any trauma because news flash fictional characters can't have trauma fictional characters cannot be traumatized so therefore you cannot romanticize or glorify trauma that was never there to begin with and that's why i don't understand why people protect these fictional characters like it's their cousin like it's them personally when it's just not now i understand making it be it making you uncomfortable but then these anti-shippers personally seek out stuff that makes them uncomfortable like the ship k luke you don't know what k luke is it's it's a ship from this 
game called Genshin Impact, and pretty much it's K and B Luke, and there's a whole debacle and argument on if they're brothers, I'm not gonna get into it, but pretty much they're sworn brothers, and the English translation translated it to adopted brothers, but either fucking way, it wouldn't matter anyways to me, but literally, if you utter the words, I like K Luke, or it's a good ship, you will get lit up, people will dox you, it's dangerous, never utter those words on TikTok, at least. But yeah, people will literally crucify you for shipping K Luke. But in the same breath, they will ship Mikasa and Aaron, which pretty much, long story short, it's the exact same thing. D Luke's father took K in off the streets and raised him up, I guess, technically. And then Mikasa was taken in by Aaron's parents. But it's okay to ship Mikasa and Aaron, but it's not okay to ship but it's not okay to ship K Luke. I wonder why. It's just the absolute hypocrisy for me. Like, they hate K Luke so much, right? But then, why do you purposefully stay under the K Luke hashtag? Why do you purposefully, if you see a cosplay that's cosplaying K Luke in a ship way, why do you save the video to your phone and make a TikTok about it? Why? If the ship makes you so uncomfortable, or if pro shipping in general makes you so uncomfortable, why are you purposefully all the time interacting with pro shippers? And these be the same ones that have pro shippers do not interact in their bio. And every time they get TikTok addressing this, it's always, well, pro shippers are weird, they deserve harassment. That was never the point. Nor did I ever say pro shippers don't deserve harassment. Nor did I ever say pro shippers aren't weird. Literally, they purposely ignore the point and try to deflect on something else. When literally all I said was, you're a hypocrite. You have pro shippers do not interact in your bio, and you say they make you uncomfortable, but you purposefully seek them out just to harass them. That's not right, and that's wrong, and that makes zero sense. But yeah, y'all, in closing, some anti-shippers are such hypocrites, and I and many other pro shippers would have so much more respect for them if they just weren't such hypocrites and if they could, one, also provide sources for their claims that, oh yeah, this kind of content uh, normalizes pedophilia and allows more people to get groomed. Which, that's a BS claim. There, I've not seen one reputable source that supports that. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna get out of here. I don't rant it for the same amount of time I did before, so I feel like I'm done now. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and bye, toodles!